Welcome back to the Free Mausum Sea. We're today still in Italy, um, in the Toscana, and we will make our way today to the Montezibili National Park. That's our goal for today. I'm not sure if the national park will be covered in snow, because uh, the temperatures have dropped again to a degree where I need to put on my warm pants. But for a start, we are getting treated with this amazing view right here, and this just beautiful landscape. I love how the mountain over there looks. It's so crazy. Also, just look into this valley. I'm really looking forward to the Montezibili because it's supposed to be incredibly beautiful. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful spots in Italy. I'm now on the eighth day of my journey. I'm slowly feeling that I'm on the road a bit, but I will get through that. And I'm still just really enjoying how fun Italy is as a country. Honestly, as a motorcycle destination, it's so good. The night was good. I, I yesterday had quite a funny situation in a restaurant. I went to a cheap bar next to a swimming pool. It seemed like the local place where people hang out. And I ordered a cheeseburger. And I was expecting a cheeseburger and was like, oh yeah, this will be good. And somehow I've gotten a burger without bread, sauce, tomato, basically just a meat patty with cheese on. Maybe I've miscalculated something in the menu, but it clearly said cheeseburger, like in English. So I don't know, but still the meat patty was actually good and the fries of it were nice. Um, of course a burger is nicer with a bread, the sauce, the salad and, and so on, but um, it will do. So let's make our way to the Montezibili. So we now arrived in the Montezibili National Park. Our first goal will be the Lago de Fuestra. In general, today is one of those days where the fatigue of traveling is setting in a bit. I'm yawning all the time. And today is one of those days where this stuff is a bit tougher. Those days sometimes come. Also, my clutch is making sounds always when I'm getting off the gas. It's this weird rattling sound. It's worrying me a bit, but it's worrying me not that much because someone of my nice viewers commented today under my um, Yamaha XJ600 review that those things constantly have clutch rattle and it's just all right and you don't need to worry. Kind of send it by fate because uh, this guy commented that without any context and it's really fitting for my day and it kind of took the edge a bit of um, now having the sound in the clutch even though I'm still worried um, I'm not completely freaking out because I read that comment in general probably something that's really normal when you do motorcycle travels like this is the anxiety of the bike breaking down always comes with you I did not pay much for this bike and I already took it to Morocco and I can really rely on it in a sense, but I'm still worried of it breaking down because 
Um, I had cheap motorcycles before and I did not have the best experience with them, to be honest. This is the first one that runs at all, basically, uh, reliably. But still, every time you fire it up, you have this feeling, huh, will it work today? Will it all be good? And of course, you're then always listening to every little sound and this clutch rattling that is happening is actually really hard to hear. But I still hear it and of course then every time it happens you have your ear right there basically. Which is kind of one of the drawbacks of budget motorcycle travel. Ooh, we can see some snow on the mountain peaks over there. Yeah. Oh, just look at it. Snow everywhere over there. Curious how it will be for us later. Oh, it's just an amazing motorcycle route. I love motorcycle riding. This is so good. Kind of like we're back in the Alps. Well, I think this is actually not that high. But the reason why there's probably still snow is because it's actually quite cold. Even though you can see the sun being out. Uh, I think we have about 9 degrees today. So you can see we're going over a lake. But this is not the lake that I meant to go to. This is another one. Oh, I think this actually is the lake I wanted to show you guys. So let's have a look from here. This looks good. So you can see down there is the lake. Let's see how the lake is called. It's the Lago di Fiestra. I think it looks really beautiful. So, after now having seen this lake, I made the decision that we will now go up the Monte Sibili, which is the mountain that this national park is named after. And that will be the last go for the day, and then we will find a place to stay. and was seeing the first bits of snow in the middle of Italy. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer to the uh, Monte Sibili and you can already see it's so gorgeous here. We're currently in this little uh, valley behind uh, the first peak and there's snow. It's really cold but you can see all the snow on the peaks and there's a little bit of snow all over the place here. Oh, and the sun over there, nice. Some warm sun is always good, especially when you're freezing like I am right now. I can still hear the clutch rattle. I hope it's not getting worse. Wild, I thought I wouldn't encounter snow again after the Alps and now here we are with snow. I hope that the clutch rattle will not get worse and that we can just make our way through Italy and back to Germany. Oh, we're having an incredible look over the national park. So gorgeous. So we are now at the peak of the Monte Sibili and as you can see we have a gorgeous look all over the field. It's so beautiful. You can see over all the mountains. I think over there is the sea and you can just look all the way over there. So gorgeous. And this is the Monte Sibili right there. Incredible. It is getting late and the sun is about to set, so we need to find a hotel. Preferably farther down so it's not this cold. So let's go. If 
you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to support me more making these videos, I have a link down to my Patreon in the video description. Have a nice day.